Good evening, everybody. Hey, everyone. My name is Spencer. I'm Laura. And we're going to play a game tonight. And hopefully, you're out there watching with us. Yeah. Um, well, we're not watching. We're playing. Oh, you're watching us play. Right. Because we like to play games. We like to show other people about them. Like, yes. This way you know, hey, what's this Dungeon Academy all about? Well, you can watch us play and see if it's any fun. I, think, I don't think we'd be playing it if it wasn't any fun. But, nah. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, we're going to play Dungeon Academy. Hey, look, there's Zach Brassfield hey, and Zach. BJ. Thanks for joining us, guys. Good to see you. Um, so yeah, this is a little game called Dungeon Academy. I've got the box somewhere. I should have sat it up. Oh, well, you've got the rule book. Yeah. Is it on the... Oh. No. <laughs> That's, That's the best close. we can do. But uh, so this is a game. Basically, we're playing uh, graduate or not graduates. We're in this academy, trying to learn our way through, learn how to defeat, defeat things in dungeons and learning how to dungeon crawl. Uh, uh, yeah, learning how to dungeon crawl. Hi, family people. Hello. Thanks for joining us. So the winner gets a diploma, um, and it's and a rolling right. And loot, yeah. Yeah. It's a roll and write, so we're going to be rolling dice and writing, but it's also a real-time game, so there's going to be lots of excitement going on. Right. I love real-time games. Yep. Um, and a lot of people like roll and write games. I know. That's kind of been, would you say for 2019, that that was a big I, yeah. trend I as think, far as new games, that there were lots of new roll and write? I think 2019 was peak roll and write. It really okay. started yeah. to surge in 2018, and then 2019 was like everything rolling right. Right, and we're seeing the downward trend of so. that for 2020. Yeah. If you were wondering, rolling right means you roll dice and then write something. What so do you know? That's what that means. Hey, learn right. something new. Well, to those watching <laughs> and those that might be joining us later on, glad you're here. Let's go ahead and move on over to our game for the evening. Now, this is a relatively short game. Mm -hmm. There are four rounds, and each round can last anywhere from like a minute to 30 seconds. Depending on the difficulty. Yes. So we're going to start out normal, if that's all right with you. That's fine with me. And we've got this nice app over here. The app is run from my phone. You can see it's mirrored onto the screen. So you can always choose your difficulty, easy, normal, hard. We're going to go with normal. Um, but Laura, do you want to kind of tell us what's going on here? Okay, sure. So um, here in the middle, we've got this little arena thing here. Mm -hmm. And inside of it are dice. Lots and lots of dice. Laura loves dice. Yes, she does. And what we'll do for each round is dump those out into this little cup thing and shake it. Some people may say that's kind of similar to the camel up or camel cup. Or isn't that oh, kind of I how see they what work? you mean. No. But oh, I thought that's how it was with the... I've never actually played the game. I no, just hear so much about it. It's different. Oh, well, <laughs> scratch that. Anyway, we're going to roll those um, so the faces are not going to be the same as what we see right now. And um, when the timer starts, we'll lift that top with the new faces up, and you'll notice on our little tiny pieces of paper here, thank you so much to Mr. Michael Sewell for... Switching our camera angles there for you to be able to see this. He's a pro. Yes. So when we reveal this, you'll see that we have this nice little 4x4 four four grid. Hey, look, that's mirrored on my sheet of paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on one of the edges, on any one of the outside squares, and try to move my person through those squares. So I'm going to write, I'm going to draw lines going through here. There's no minimum, there's no maximum of how many squares you have to cross. You just do what you think you can, and in that amount of time, like Spencer said, it's real time, so you only have so much time to decide what you're going to do. Especially tricky because tonight we're playing with Sharpies. We're not sponsored by Sharpie. No. Nope. Normally we play with pencils, so. But we want <laughs> you to be able neat. to see our lines. Yeah, <laughs> and that is, possible mistakes. That's, that's funny because that's actually a mode in the game. It's called um, No Mercy. Oh, to play with a pen? So, well, it just says you cannot erase or cross out errors. Oh, okay. So and we're playing No Mercy. So let's talk about these dice okay. faces here. Sounds good. So there are different kinds of monsters. There are blue monsters and red monsters. And they're and there big are and they're and small. small. We don't have any large blue monsters out here. Now let's fix that real quick. He looks like a Grim Reaper. It looks like a Grim oh. Reaper. Here, there's one right there. There it is. Okay. And so what you're doing is you're trying to make your way through, and each time you come across a monster, you're going to have to give away health. So you start with a certain amount of health, depending on 
Who which, you, which what kind character of character you card are. you drew. So you've got to um, account for that. But then each time you come across a potion, you get health. So you want to you can like say, okay, I'm going to come here and lose health, but then I can come here and gain that health right back. Mm -hmm. And you're going to do that on your board, and hopefully you do it right, and then we'll resolve it once <laughs> that's all done. Also, something really fun about the way this is is it's from your point of view. So yes, from for me, I'm look. It, it's going to when I'm drawing it on here. This is the way I'm going to be going for Spencer. He, whatever he draws on his sheet of paper, that's the way he'll be going. So it's totally from your point of view. Absolutely. Because this goes up to four players? I think it's six. six. Okay. I want to say six. So then all of those people are going to have a different point of view, obviously. Yeah, um, but so, like we said, through that time period, you're going to be mapping through your little grid, like it says on here. Ladio 22. Hello, hello. Just, Thanks for joining us. Just beat me in a game of Through the Ages. Oh. Pretty bad. Oh. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm bad at that game. Oh, gosh, but he keeps trying. Yeah, they, it's, it's fun to try. Okay, so what after oh, the ahead. time is up, that's when we're going to total up and see how we did. Okay on our run. So what do you say we get started? Show them what that looks like. Okay, well, All right. first things first. My role here is the rogue. Yes. And it's, my card says, I start the game with two loot cards drawn randomly. No way. Yep. All right, so go for it. <laughs> <laughs> and you can thank yourself for that because Spencer's the one who gave me this role. It was random. Okay, I have a helmet. Uh, I, get, I gain plus one blue. And my maximum blue is increased by one. So go ahead and, yeah, go I'll ahead go ahead it. and do that now. Huzzah! Ooh. I have more Ooh. blue to expend as I travel through the dungeon. <laughs> and also, I have a purse. And this isn't at the end of the game. Uh -huh. I'm going to gain one extra coin. Okay. Well, lucky you. Me, I am the wizard. And once per level, I can defeat a blue Grim Reaper monster for free. A big blue. Yeah, you got it better stuff right <laughs> I don't right. know. we'll see so you kind of see on our sheets of paper we have a one a two and a three and a four so we're gonna do four rounds yep so round one is gonna start up here in this top left grid do you want to do the honors rolling or want me to you can do it all right so what I do is I take this thing put the dice in here I shake it up real good Get them all to where they're lined up, then I take the dungeon, put it back on, flip it back over, and now we don't know what's there. We're gonna do it. Oop, the clock faces you. Faces you. Well, yeah. Okay, <laughs> are you ready for this? Don't forget, first player to finish grabs yes. this number one card. Yep, because then you'll have first pick at the treasure, at the loot. Okay. Ready? Um, you've got a notification coming up on your phone, and everybody can see that. Oh, so get is rid it of done? That. Okay, he it's the op. Oh, <laughs> thanks to the op yes. for providing this copy of the game to show to everybody, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. That was weird. I'm just, I'm just excited to go. Okay. Ready? All right. I'm sorry. I'm delaying. Go. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. Oh, my. Okay. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. And I'm gonna put an X there so I know that that's oh, where I no. stopped. And I'll take that. I think I'm in bad shape already. Uh oh. Oh. Yeah, you can just put an arrow at the end of your line. Well, that was kind of lame, if I do say so myself. Uh -huh. All right, so that's the end. This this right here, it killed me. The whole line of them. All right, that's what happened. And I only have three red health. So. Oh, yikes. Yep. Here, you um, take the number Oh, two. you're right. Okay, <laughs> so we'll do that after we do this. Okay, so since I finished first, I'll go first. Yep. So, here's how we resolve. Laura, take the wizard. And the, take this guy. The, um... Dee -dee. And our professor, professor, kind professor, of. Professor, yeah. And I'm going to walk him across the dice to follow my line so that we know what all I hit. So the first thing I hit was a little red monster. So I'm mm -hmm. going to take my little red heart off of my card here. I'm gonna just like, eh, kind of. And I'm gonna place it on top of the little red monster on my piece of paper. All right, so next I hit a red potion. I got a new, I got a red heart back. 
All right, and I hit another red potion. I can't go above my max, so that's enough there. So that was three across. Now I'm gonna start going up. So I hit another little red monster. Where is that? Put it on my sheet there to mark it. One up again. Ooh, I hit a big red guy. So that's two. We just put one down. And yeah. I lose the other. Yeah, there you go. All right. And um, on my sheet, I go up again. I would get a blue potion, but uh-oh, I miscalculated. Oops. I'm not going to make it out of this dungeon, guys. Well, let's see. Bam. Just lost my last. Oh, no. Hopefully, I got way too overconfident you there did. because of these two here. I thought I was just not thinking. And All right, so... Laura failed the dungeon. I did. So when you fail, you score zero blood for the level. You do not achieve a quest, and you do not collect a loot card. Okay. I might have failed too, so let's find out. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm starting over here. No, I'm at the top. So here I go. I go one red. Let's take that off. Get a potion, so I get one back. Go down. Two. Take a two big guy out. And then I go over. One little, little guy, guy out. out. Okay, so he's okay still. Even though there are no red hearts on his card right now, it's if he had to give up another that he didn't have. Right. So he's still okay right now. I go up. And he got I another get red, red back. potion. And then I get that guy, which is free because of my ability. And then I made my way out. Good job, Spence. Oh, I did it. Woo. You sure did. Okay, well, I'm sorry that you didn't. Bravo. Okay. Good work. So, thank That's you. That's okay. I'm fine. I think, let's see, whenever you, at the end of the level, let's see, I wonder what you start with. You go, you go back. No, nope, that's it. You, like, don't, you don't get any health back? No. Nope. Okay. I'll get some on the next level. That's right. Okay. All right. There's so, hoping there's red potions on the end. Yes. So um, <laughs> we would reveal two loot, and I get to pick since Lara didn't, doesn't get one. Oh, so I guess that I'm going to sip my doing carbonated water. I can gain I've one. changed flavors, friends. <laughs> I, my mother introduced me to this La Croix. It's the flavor, or La Croix, some people say that. And it's limoncello, and it's really good. So that's what I've switched over to tonight. <laughs> so I got a school's mascot. At the end of the game, it's worth two money. Oh, that's better than my purse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what I do now is I take my score. I got two, uh, two points, right? What do you one. mean? Well, I defeated two guys, so there were one money. You defeated each. three. Three guys. So they're one money each, right? Um, right. So yeah. for each one that you've defeated, you get a coin. So three. Um, I don't have anything from treasure. Okay. Um, I've got, let's see. It's good to mark down your health where yeah. Spencer's doing it now. In case you bump your stuff. So I'm at one and four. Or in case you mess it up like yeah. a, terribly like the last game we played. And then down here are some quests. Now, what you can do is you can choose one of these at the end of every the end of every round, um, you can choose one based on what you defeated. So if I were to do this, I would count how many red or little monster that I defeated. Well, red period. Well, red, Big yeah. or little. So in this case, that would give me the best score out of all of these. So I'll put two there. Mm -hmm. But you, all, you do have to choose one at do. the end of the round. That is correct. I'll put these back, and that round is done. Complete. All right. All right. Would you like to roll this time? I will. I think... Do oh, we yes. have a change to dice in the second round? We do. So in the second round, we swap out a die. Uh, this is called the Labyrinth die. It might add some walls or a banana peel or some loot. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to take one out. So explain, what does the banana peel do? Um, the banana peel, you lose one coin Okay. if you hit that. Um, there are walls, so like you can't go through the walls if that shows up on the, on the dice. I mean, if you get a purse, it's plus one gold coin. Okay. So I'm going to take these and dump them over into this thing. Yep. All right. And oh, no. Oops. <laughs> Got a little carried away with my dice rolling on that. Who doesn't? I mean, what's not to love with the dice rolling? I just... Mm -hmm. 
have, yeah, I'll admit it, I get carried away because I just love it so much. Make sure these are laying flat. They're not. I Don't feel you? it. Okay, I feel do you it. want to try to go up to hard? Um, we had 12 seconds left after that. I'm a, well, this time I won't because I don't have any red health. True. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, we'll stay at normal. So, um, I guess that red is health and maybe like blue is magic. Yeah. Okay. So I don't have any health right now. Yeah. So it's going to be pretty complicated for me as it is. So okay. let's keep it. <laughs> All right. Let's leave it as is. Please. All right. And now we're going to be on this top right. Correct. Square. Um, cause we're in round two. All right. You ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Ready, go. Go! Okay, we've got some walls there. All right. Go there, go here, go here, go here, here, here. Sorry. Also, uh, you cannot cross your path again. Correct. That's another thing about this. Okay, well, I guess we should go to hard. Yeah. Is that 30 seconds? Hard is 30, yeah. Okay, I guess we could do that next time. Okay. Oh, I finished first. You did finish first, I finished second. Okay. All right, so, well then, I will show my course first. Okay, go for it. All right, so I'll get our little wizard professor back here. And so I start out, can you guess where? on this red potion so that I can get some much needed health back. So here's the labyrinth die. And so it made these walls so that you have to cross this way. There's no way you could go through the earth. So I crossed through it and hit the second red potion because I was hurting. And I came up and fought a little blue guy. So I put that on my sheet to mark it for, for scoring. And I hit a big blue guy so I lost two there and hit another big blue guy. It goes over here. Oh, good. And I lost two there. But then I hit a blue potion. Ah, so I got that back. Yes. And I said, deuces. Woo. And I'm out. Okay, very well. Or very well done. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I thought so. All right, so let's go over to mine. All right. There's some, some uh, uncertainty here, too. All right, so I'm going to go here. Get me a potion. Go over, defeat a blue one for free because I'm a wizard. Ooh, nice. So then you need to mark that on your sheet. <gasps> yes, thank you. You're welcome. Defeat a little blue. On your sheet, on your sheet. On my sheet. <laughs> Get a red potion. Get them points, boy. Ooh, defeat big red. Get a big red. Uh, on the sheet, there you go. Go up, defeat a little blue. Okay. Get a blue potion. Uh, right. I could have gone one more. And I'm out. Uh, I think it's safer. I think it's yeah. safer that way. You're okay. playing it safe, pal. All right, so we both made it. Okay. So, so. Uh, calculate your points. I have four from fighting monsters. Very good. I only have three. I think you're going to win this one. game because I have nothing from the first round and three from the second. I'll use this bonus on my blue monsters because all of my monsters I defeated were blue this game, or this nice. round. All right. Oh, we didn't do, we got to do loot. Yep. You get first pick. Dude, what's up with all the blue stuff? <laughs> I'm good on blue. Hmm. I'll take this ghost cleaner. Okay. And I'll get the not ghost cleaner. <laughs> It looks like a medieval version of, like, the Ghostbusters backpack. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's got, like, a little flintlock gun <laughs> and everything. Like, that's... <laughs> it's got a flintlock gun and a hose leading down to this little glass. That is that is definitely what that's supposed to be. I love that nod. Uh -huh. Great. That's nice. Okay, so I'm going to put that over here with the rest of my loot. I'm well, all I got these. was a great blue potion. And take these tokens off the sheet. So now we're on here to yep. round three. All right. Nothing new this round. Oh, sorry. Here's the top. Thank you. I'll move our little wizard professor so that I can see. I need to shake up my sheet. I'm making it all crooked. Sorry. Oops. Oops. See? It's easy to do, isn't it? 
throwing the dice out when you're yeah. trying to shake that around. I'm just having some fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that it's me fun. and my dice. Do, so, with the prevalence, like we talked about, of roll and write games now from the past two years, mm -hmm. what are some of y'all's favorite roll and write games? Let us know in the chat. We'd love to see, see what you have played. Or flip and write, like flip a card. Mm -hmm. So, just let us know in the chat. Yeah. What flip and write, roll and write games have you been playing lately or, have, or are you interested in? Yep. Maybe we've tried one and we can let you know what we thought. Okay. You can, they can do that while we're going through round yep. three. They sure can. good. And we're going to do hard this time. <sighs> oh, put your card back. Yeah, we'll do hard this time. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Ready? So we've got that labyrinth die in there. Yep. yep. Ready. Oh, okay. Um. Ten seconds. Okay, I might not have beat that. I might not have made it out of that alive. I just took a chance, especially because you said 10 seconds, and so, all right. There, okay. All right, did it end? Yep. All right, all right so then. what do we have here? Sonora and Big Dig <gasps> are my Sonora, I want favorite. to try that game. You like Sonora, it's the flicking right. You flick your dice, or not dice, you flick, like, it's a flicking game. But oh, okay, it's I like right. dexterity games, those yeah. are fun. Um, we've been playing Welcome To. We've had that. We've played that. That yeah. is a great game to play mm -hmm. via Zoom. Very good choice. Yeah, I can see choice. how it would work perfect over Zoom. That's awesome. Pre-ordered Welcome to Plus expansion. Cool. Awesome. Quicks. Haven't played Quicks. One of our favorites, or at least speaking for myself, is, um, what's that game called? Silver and Gold. <laughs> Silver and Gold is such so a So that's great what you're talking about with the flip and write. Flip and write, yeah. yeah. Oh, and you've even taught it to our daughter. Yeah. And she's she, she has beat Spencer. She has. It's not. In her own special. right, too. We don't let her win. No, we don't. She wins on her oh. own. Okay. Let's see. I was lucky enough to win a copy from Pandasaurus on oh, Instagram. Oh, nice. It's really good. All right. Well, we're going to have to check it out. Neat. I want to play it. Okay. So, let us... Oh, who f you finished first. Yes, I did. Okay. So, then you go first. All right. I, I got through quite a bit of the dungeon this time. So, first thing I do is... I go... Potion, little monster. Potion. <laughs> uh, big Back. blue. Mm -hmm. And I get to do one for free. That's nice. That's a really, flip it over on me. That's really handy to have. Big red. Huh. Okay. Potion. Blue potion. Little blue. Little blue. Oh, on your sheet, on your sheet. Ah, thank you. What would I do without you? Big blue. On the sheet, good. Uh, down, and then big blue. I'm gonna use my great blue potion to gain two of these things. All right, so you can just use that. That's a card, an item yep. that is indicated down in the corner that's got a little lightning bolt there. And defeat. So he can use that at any time. And defeat it. And I got out with one little token to spare. Wow. That's it. Goodness. Well, let's see if I'm that lucky. All right. Okay. So from my perspective, whoop. all right. So I'm going to start here at the blue potion and get that. And then move over and then defeat a little blue. But I have my ghost cleaner. So once per level, you can defeat a little blue ghost without losing. So I'm going to mark that on here. And then I'm going to come over here to this big blue and fight him. And go up into the labyrinth die, then over to the left and get another blue potion. We went very different directions. We sure did. Well, we have different perspectives. We sure do. And then I'm going to get a red potion. Like real life. <laughs> I'm going to defeat a little red monster. And I'm going to get a red potion back. 
Uh, yep. Oh no. I lost, and, and that's when I was panicking going, can I fight this guy or not? And Spencer said, 10 seconds left. And I went, okay. Oh I no. Drove, marched through it. I just lost again. So sad. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm gonna lose this game. <laughs> It's not over yet. Oh, hush. <laughs> okay, so um, I will get to check, choose. I don't want the useless item. <laughs> um, you could Hold that over your sheet so they can see. Or over my sheet. Here. Here's the useless item, which would probably have come to me anyway. This item has no use whatsoever. So um, whoever is last to pick loot. Yep. So I'm going to be you. take the Great Red Potion instead. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to count up my points here. So that's five, six, seven. I think this might be the best I've ever done on this game. Um, and then I have one blue left, nothing else. I'm going to cross off. Which hmm. I need you to I do guess, big. Yeah, so that gives me four points. Segan says rubber duckies always have a use. <laughs> <laughs> he has a point. He does have a point. <laughs> hey, Segan. Welcome Good to, to see the you. stream, Segan. <laughs> All right. So now for our final round, we replace another die with the boss die. Oh. So this one has some really bad guys on it. You've got the troll, which is red. It's minus three. Minus uh, three. Yeah, minus three. Tokens. And then the blue, the like, I guess that's how you'd pronounce it. The lich Maybe. is minus three, but it's plus three It's points. a really phlegm it looks yeah. a lich. There's the dragon. Um, if you see the dragon, that is minus three red and minus three blue. Ouch. And there's a treasure chest. I think you can pretty can't much count on me avoiding it all costs. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you want to give that a roll for us? I think I'll try my hand. Do you want to go back to normal? Nah. Okay. I'm, so, uh, uh, I'm worried. <laughs> what does it matter? I've already lost the game anyway. What kind of attitude is that? It's, I believe it's practical in you. attitude. <laughs> I believe in you. I just need you to really screw up. Yeah. <laughs> it's possible. Not looking, not looking. Don't look. Okay. And the clock should be facing you. You. Yeah. I don't think it matters. Okay. Any last words? Um. Thanks for joining. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mark down my. Okay. Stats on so you're that in one. better better shape going in though. Uh, well, it depends on. Dep depends on what we're talking about. Yeah. Points wise, no. Okay. Okay. Ready? Uh, yeah. Go. We go. Oh, oh snap. hello there. Um, Not in a good place, though. Sure, it is. No, it's not. <sighs> oh, this is going to be a very lame. Hurry, one, out, we go. Just by the, you got it. I grabbed the one you card did. before you did. You did. Oh, I forgot about my red potion. And that stinks. No. I'm still nervous. I don't think I made this, but we'll see. Okay. Um, so you grab the card, so we'll do. I'll go first on first. feeling how I went. So I started out at this blue potion. So I gained a blue potion. Let's go over and I'll use my ghost cleaner to defeat this little blue ghost for free without using any life points. So I'll move down and, excuse me, defeat this little red. Or no, 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 I didn't defeat a little red. I gained red. What am I doing? And I, just don't know. I can't gain any more red. So then here's a little red that I do defeat. And then I hit the treasure. Woo. What does that mean? That is plus two gold. Cha-ching. So um, write that in the question mark. OK. 
okay, plus two. Okay, so then I come up, I get another blue potion, and then I face off the big blue and fought him and out. Out. Good job. I survived. You made it. I did it. I, I'm proud of you. Thank you. I knew you could. Thanks so much. Okay, well, let's have a look at what I how I fared. All right, so I'm gonna start up here. I started by getting a potion, or yeah, potion, two potions, because they were right there. And. Oh, you get to defeat that guy for free. free. God, that's so nice. Little blue, or little red. Um, don't you have something for red? I have potions. Oh, I have okay. a potion. Give me my two gold coins, plus two. The little musical. Give me my two gold coins. Da -da. <laughs> <laughs> Blue and what was it? Oh, it was pretty lame, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, there was treasure. So okay. Okay. Oh, so and then yeah, we need to do our final I fought quest. Three guys, and I'll do my bonus on the two littles. All right, and now. What you do is, in this one down here, if you have anything that's an end game bonus. Okay. That's what you'll like put right there. Like my purse. Yeah. Or my mascot. Uh, hush. Mascot. I was a mascot in high school. Did you know that? Uh, I you did. You knew that. But some people watching, some people might have known. Some people might not have known. I was the mascot at my high school. Can I be in that musical? Can we call it Two Gold Rubber Duckies? We can do totally do that. We'll do it on our podcast. Two gold <laughs> okay. Um, so now we added up our points. Um, I'll leave that to you. So you would start out like at round one. You yes. go through here. But I yeah. didn't survive that. So that's going to be a big mm -hmm. zilch. So I got three gold from this round. Didn't survive that one. I got another three gold for the fourth round. So that's six. Plus two is eight, plus one is nine, plus this three is 12, plus this two is 14. So, wah, wah. All right, my turn. Ready? Okay. Okay, I've already told it, but I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> All right, so we've got three, plus four, seven, plus seven is 14, plus six is 20, plus two is 22, plus three is 25, Plus four is 29, and plus two. 31. 31. 31 points for oh, me. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you very much for telling Super. me nice job. More than double Well. my score. I wasn't going to say anything. I can't believe that. I've never done that before of not surviving around. I, I think it's, I don't know. I guess it was the, the pressure of doing it on camera for all of you guys. Yeah. I had to perform. That's okay. You did. You still did great. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Maybe it was also this role. Yeah. Yeah. I, I prefer roles that like, like have something mine. active through the round. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, I did. I think mine ended up being the better role. Most definitely. <laughs> I didn't get to choose my role. It was randomly assigned to well, me. Well, mine was too. Oh, you just threw a card out there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you say so, I'll say that's fair. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, so that was Dungeon Academy, everybody. Yes. Um, an exciting rolling and writing game <laughs> that you've really got to pay attention to what you're doing in the real time. And you got to really remember how much health and magic you ha your character has mm. as you move through the room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's easy to just, oh, I'm going to go here and then go here and then here. Oopsies. As, as is evident <laughs> from my first and third round. Hey, show everybody your, your earrings. Oh, yeah. We were in honor of playing a roll and write game. I wore my little D20 earring mm -hmm. that my friend Jennifer gave me. They're awesome. Yeah. I like them a lot. Thanks. They glow in the dark, too. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Not that I'll ever play games in the dark, but I don't have to just wear them when I'm playing games. Right. So. Well, I have something exciting to talk about. Okay. Um, so I mentioned I brought up singing on our podcast with Segan there. <laughs> um, as part of a goal for the Lighten Up Initiative's Patreon, 
um, we have started a new board game podcast. Um, that's me and Stegan Walker there in the chat, if you don't see the chat. Um, and it's called Board Games Are Fun. It's probably the most basic title you can get, and that was on purpose. <laughs> so if you want to listen to it, our first episode drops today, except for on iTunes, because there's some really major issue with Apple Podcasts submission page right now. Mm-hmm. So you can find it anywhere else, mostly, that there are podcasts. It's on Stitcher. Yeah, what yeah. about Spotify? I mean, I didn't mean Stitcher. Stitcher ignored what I just said. Spotify. I meant Spotify. Okay, what yeah. about like iHeartRadio? Um, it has been submitted. I don't know if it's been approved yet. Okay, so if anything, you can find it on Spotify. Yeah. Okay. Or you can go to um, Sp- Spreaker. So like Speaker, <laughs> but with an R, Spreaker. At the very least, you can go there because that's where it's hosted. And okay, find it there. all so. right. Anything else? Yes. So, speaking of podcasts, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Okay, well, there, uh, we just recorded an episode uh, of the Meredith Board Games podcast. Yay! I wore my Meredith Board Games shirt. So, yeah. you're going to be up to the ears in board game. You're going to have, you've got some sweet, sweet stuff to listen to. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where I was going. I don't either. But <laughs> that one is also delayed because... For reasons out of my control. On iTunes, right? Uh, anywhere. Period. Yeah. Oh, boo. It's, yeah. There's one. You gotta wait a little there's longer. There's one last thing for that to be done. Okay. But keep, make sure you're still subscribed on those feeds, or at least the one on the, the Apple one, because you will get the notification when the new, the new uh, episode comes out. So yeah, they've got to look up board games are fun. Yep. Okay. Yep. Very good. It is good. It's a, what a time to be alive. <laughs> All right. And so, yes, it is because of our uh, helpers there at Patreon. So if you want to help, our next stretch goal is to make the Married with Board Games podcast recurring. Right yes. now we just so, recorded so, one episode. Right. That episode that we did was just a, you know what? It's been two years. We don't really have anything else going on. Let's just do another episode. But if we want to make this recurring you got to you got to help us out there on Patreon. Also, we could use your help with getting the Lighten Up Initiative YouTube account to 1,000 subscribers. So, that's so crazy. Yep. I agree, family meeple. But we are really close to getting into 1,000 subscribers. Please just go find the Lighten Up Initiative of board game cover art. And um, yeah. we both added our own onto the little Twitter thread. So, if you yeah. find Girls Game Shelf on Twitter, You'll see their tweets, and, and we'll post ours on Instagram as well yeah. on the Lighten Up Initiative Instagram account. Uh, and we may, you know, I was just noticing I could kind of resemble a, a person on the cover of this game. You could. Maybe I'm gonna I get it. could. Maybe I could cosplay one of them. This there she, she is could right there. Totally do that. You could pull that off. <laughs> right there on the front. You're awesome. The top knot, the gigantic yeah. sword. Uh, uh, Vladio saw Thanks, our cosplays. Vladio. Thank you. <laughs> What's funny is my, well, that's a story for another day. Well, we've got time. Oh, okay. Talk about so it. So the Potion Explosion co- costume was actually one that I made two years ago for my 30th birthday. We did board game cosplay. And I, <laughs> I kept it. Why Why would I get rid of it? Yep. So I, I got rid of mine, but. <laughs> <laughs> you returned yours after wearing it. I returned it. Yep. I was Diana Stanley yep. from um, the... Arkham Universe. Yep. 